This is the Valkyrian Sky Clockwork Fashion Guide the second part, because the mod has been updated, and there is a lot of new content that needs to be told about it. Textures and block icons from this mod have also been redesigned. And we're moving on. Two new types of ore have appeared, Shale Vanderlite Ore and Vanderlite Ore of the Edge. The first ore you will find deep underground, somewhere at an altitude of minus 48 blocks, and it is quite rare. And you will find another one in the edge. This ore has one unusual property. If you touch it, jump on it, and throw an object on it, or just try to hit it and dig it up, it will start to fly up, having acquired the physics of Valkyrian Sky. If the ore still took off, then try to quickly install some heavy block on it, in order to be able to extract it. By digging up this Kirkoni ore below the iron level, you will get a Vanderlite crystal. It can be polished in any way, getting a Vanderlite cube. And by placing this Vanderlite cube under the press, you will get a Vanderlite matrix. And it just participates in most of the crafting of this mod. Next, consider the Wanderlite wand. It is needed in order to select an area, blocks that can then be turned into blocks with realistic physics from Valkyrian Sky. I note that this rod can only highlight the territory. It will not give realistic physics to objects, other mechanisms and devices do this. And to select an area, you need to set two points. The first click with this wand puts the first point and the second, respectively, the second. And to remove an area, left-click with the baton in your hands on this area. And yes, at the moment it is impossible to connect several areas into one. I understand you want to do exactly the same as with the glue from the Crete mod, in order to combine several areas if you forgot something. But alas, here you will get a different result. And to make the wand itself, you first need to make the unfinished part of the Wanderlite wand. It is made of a brass ingot, which is further processed in a sequential assembly, which consists of two activators and a press. The activators will contain pieces of zinc or iron. And so you need to do it three times. Then place this unfinished Wanderlite wand under an autonomous activator, in which there will be a Vanderlite matrix, and we will get an already completed wand. Next. I'll tell you about the physics infuser. This block just gives realistic physics to the structures that you have highlighted with the Wanderlite wand. And now let's take a closer look at how to control a physicist with an infuser. To begin with, select the area with the Wanderlite wand that you want to give realistic physics. Then install a physics infuser somewhere nearby. After that, Take the Wanderlite wand in your hand and right-click on the physics infuser. The wand will fit inside this block and the animation will start. At the end of the animation, the design will acquire the realistic physics of Valkyrie Sky and the wand will automatically fall out of this block. Important information, the physics infuser can transform several selected areas into realistic designs at once. And to create a physics infuser, you will need four brass ingots, four strong sheets, and a Vanderlite matrix. Next, I'll tell you about the physics bearing. This block will allow you to create structures with realistic physics from Valkyrie Sky, while this bearing will also act as a fixing point for your realistic structures so that they rotate around one axis. And now let's talk about how to use and configure the physics bearing. Install it in the world, and install any block opposite this face. And now, press the right mouse button by clicking on the bearing, and at the end of the animation, the block will acquire realistic physics, but it will not fall. Then you can attach anything to this block, but keep in mind that the geometry of the final shape will determine its direction of rotation and the gravity acting on it. And yes, you can turn not only one block at a time, into a realistic design, but already large buildings, after gluing them together with ordinary glue from Crate. 
It is also possible to apply rotation to the physics bearing, which in fact turns it into a mechanical rotator for Mod K. The only difference is that with this design you can interact and add blocks, but with a mechanical rotator this will not work. Also, with the help of a wrench, you can turn on the gravity ignoring mode, but at the same time, the structure still bends a little if it is loaded with heavy blocks. But apparently I overdid it and broke everything. Well, the mod is still under development. Next, we'll talk to you about the gravity throne. It is needed to capture structures from Valkyrie Sky and their subsequent movement. At the moment, there are two versions of this device, a regular one that can be crafted, and a creative one. Usually, the Gravitren, by right-clicking, will capture a construction from Valkyrie Sky, and it will follow the cursor, which will allow transporting these structures. And clicking the right mouse button again, will release the building. Now we're going to talk about the creative version of the Gravitren. It differs from the usual one, in that it has four modes of operation, which are switched by pressing the Alt key, and rotating the mouse wheel. Let's talk about each mode separately. The first mode is called Grape. This mode does the same thing as a regular Gravitren. You will capture buildings from Valkyren Skype by right-clicking, and right-clicking again will release the building, and it will fall. The second mode is called Assemble. If you already have a dedicated area, using a Wanderlight wand, then you can quickly assemble it without using a physics infuser. The third mode is called Grape Sample. It differs from the assemble mode only in that when assembling a Valkyrian structure, it will already be captured and tied to the cursor, that is, it will not fall. A very useful mode when you assemble your structure in the air and there is no support under it because of which it can fall. The fourth and last mode is called the Dyes Sample. It will allow you to disassemble the already assembled structures from Valkyrie Sky back into separate blocks. Unfortunately, there are also buggies. If there were blocks of some unusual shape in the disassembled building, for example, steps, triangular, beveled, then they can change their positioning after disassembly. Next, we'll talk about the Reston resistor. It reduces the rotation speed applied to it from the Crete mode, depending on the strength of the Reston signal, up to the very stop, acting as a clutch of vanilla crate. Next, we will talk about the propeller bearing. When applying rotations to this block, it will push your assembled Valkyrie sky structure in a given direction, which will allow you to create helicopters or airplanes. Let's talk about this block in more detail. To begin with, install it on the construction of Valkyrie sky, then power this mechanism with rotation from the Cray mod. I advise you in advance to add a couple of mechanisms to your design to control the speed of rotation, otherwise your building may run away from you. Then install the windmill sails right in front of the bearing. Very important, set the sails, not the wings or flaps from the clockwork fashion, they will not fit. The number of sails directly affects the thrust and lift. The more of them, the more powerful. And of course, the rotation speed also affects this. After completing the installation of the sails, right-click on the bearing and it will assemble and the movement will begin immediately. The main thing is that the rotation speed is enough to shift the number of blocks that are in your building. Also, the sails can be installed as follows while your propeller will also work and push your building in a given direction. And also, the propeller bearing can be switched to reverse rotation mode if you have a wrench. Next, we will talk about wings, flaps and a bearing for flaps. All of this together will allow you to control your aircraft or balloonist. Note that the wings and flaps have the same 3D models, so they can be confused, although they have different functions. Usually the wings add lift to your aircraft if it is already in motion. To put it another way, it's with the help of them that you can plan while in the air and the flaps are used in conjunction with the bearings for the flaps with which you can change the direction of airflow, thereby turning your plane in one direction or another.
and a few words about the flap bearing itself, how to use it. First, install the bearing itself. This bearing needs to be powered by rotation from Kate's mod. Then install the resto signal sources to the left and right of the bearing. Now you can install the flaps themselves. Install them in front of the bearing, vertically or horizontally, as you like. Then take the glue from the usual modocrete and glue the flaps and right-click on the bearing with the flaps. Everything came together in a single structure. Now, by giving a rest and signal to the left or right side of your flap bearing, you will change the angle of inclination of the flaps themselves to control your aircraft. In addition, the wings and flaps can be repainted in any vanilla Minecraft color with the help of dyes. Next, we will talk about the height detector or the height of the world. In short, this device generates a redstone signal as soon as your building from Valkyrie Sky reaches a specified height or exceeds it. And now more about how to use it. Right-click on this block and open the interface. Move the cursor to this place and start rotating the mouse wheel. Here you can change the required height at which you will generate a constant arrested signal. And then, we'll talk to you about the gyroscope, which is needed to stabilize the movement of your buildings from Valkyrie Sky. When creating buildings from Valkyrie Sky, you probably noticed that, depending on their shape, they move differently, and some behave very unpredictably. And all this is due to the location of the center of mass of your building, which can be seen if you enable debugging mode. To enter this mode, first hold down F3, and then, while holding F3, also press the B key. And at the buildings of Valkyrie Sky, you can notice this small yellow cube, this is the center of mass of your building. Everything affects its position, the weight of materials, the shape of your building, and so on. The gyroscope, in turn, aligns your building with respect to the center of gravity. For it to work, it must be powered with rotational energy, and for it to work normally, the speed must be high. By opening the gyroscope with the right mouse button, you will see the following interface. There are two axes in total, along which you will stabilize your building. This is the Z-axis and the 10-axis. The numbers in the direction of the arrow are the positive value of the angle, and what goes down is negative. By clicking on any of these buttons, you must necessarily check the box to confirm your action, after which the movement of your building will begin at the specified angle. In addition, you can press several buttons at once to stabilize the building into axes. Most often, it is enough to press the central button to stabilize your building, and it will be aligned horizontally and vertically. If you pressed any of the buttons and nothing happened, it means that the gyroscope is rotating at insufficient speed to move the number of blocks that are in your building. And the gyroscope itself can be installed anywhere in your building. The position of the gyroscope does not affect its operation. And that's it for me, friends, let's say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Well, I advise you to subscribe to my channel, because I have a lot of interesting videos on Minecraft.